Having resolutely waited for the right to reveal itself, he now ceases that moment and is aborted by her exiled children in America and by gallant allies in Europe. But relying in the force on her own strength, she strikes in full confidence of victory. We declare the right of the people of Ireland to the ownership of Ireland and to the unfair control of Irish destinies to be sovereign and indefeasible. The long usurping usurpation of that right by a foreign people and the government has not extinguished the right, nor can it ever be extinguished, the right to national freedom and sovereignty. Six times during the past 300 years, they face, they have asserted it in arms, standing on the fundamental right and again asserting it in arms in the face of the world. We hereby proclaim the Irish Republic as a sovereign, independent state and we pledge your lives and the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom, of its welfare and its exultation among the nations. The Irish Republic is entitled to and hereby claims the allegiance of every Irish man and Irish woman. The Republic guarantees religious and civil liberties, equal rights and equal opportunities to all its citizens and declares its resolve to pursue the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation and all of its parents cherishing all the children of the nation equally and oblivious of the differences carefully fostered by an alien government which has divided a minority from the majority in the past. Until our arms have brought the opportune moment for the establishment of a permanent national government representative of the whole people of Ireland and elected by the suffrages of all our men and women, the provisional government hereby constituted will administer the civil and military affairs of the Republic in the trust for the people. We place the cause of the Irish Republic under the protection of the Most High God, whose blessing we invoke upon our heart, and we pray that no one who saves that call will dishonour it by cowardice, inhumanity or a pain. In this supreme hour, the Irish nation must by its valour and discipline and the readiness of its children to sacrifice themselves for the common goal, prove itself worthy of the August destiny to which it is called. This is why we are here, and this is why we are going to go to stand and fight back against the Irish government.